Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with If I Could Choose Only One Work by Composer X, it would have to be work Aleph. Oh, let's do a little Hebrew alphabet, shall we? So, Composer X is Honegger, and Aleph is appropriate, because work Aleph is Le Roi David, King David. Now, for those of you who know Honegger, particularly through his symphonic poem, Pacific 231, which is, of course, about a choo-choo train, and it's the most wonderful symphonic evocation of a choo-choo train outside of Dvorak and Villa Lobos, well then, you're in for a treat. Honegger was, in many ways, a dramatic composer. Um, and he wrote fabulous film music, as we've discussed in our series on film music. We've we've talked about his five symphonies and fabulous concert programs. He was a wonderful all-around musician. And he really doesn't have um, the reputation that he deserves in many respects because his music isn't easy. It's it's tough. It's, it's gnarly quite frequently. Um, it has a very characteristic sound. It's highly, highly contrapuntal. And, and well you know, it takes some getting used to. And most people don't have the time to get used to it. He was a member of Les Six, you know, The Six, that group of, of French avant-garde 20th century composers, including Poulenc and Auric and and and, and uh, Germain Taillefer and people like that who were known for their goofiness, you know, and, and Honegger was never goofy. Honegger had a very, very serious streak. Um, his music is often not humorous. He could write humorous music. I mean, you know, that was part of the gig. Um, and sometimes he did. But more often than not, he, he sounded quite, quite austere. And that was made him kind of, you know, an outsider among this group of the six. Um, and I, I think that probably maybe because he was Swiss, um, you know, he wasn't actually French. I, you know, people have said that. I, he, he was in all, you know, cultural terms, you know, French, but he was French Swiss. So that made a difference, um, perhaps in how he wrote music. But King David is one of these oratorio things. He wrote a lot of choral music, he wrote a great deal of choral music. And it's marvelous stuff. I mean, his Christmas oratorio is fantastic. There's this fabulous oratorio called The Dance of the Dead, the Danse des Morts. It's like, ooh, baby. And nobody knows it. Um, his two big oratorio works are King David, this one, and Jean d'Arc au Boucher, Joan of Arc at the Stake, another jolly work, as you can well imagine. They're both fantastic pieces, absolutely remarkable pieces. And King David was for many years quite, quite well known. It was performed a lot in like the, the 60s and, and even into the 70s. Maurice Abravanel recorded an excellent excellent performance with the Utah Symphony on Vanguard, which is how I first got to know it. And it is in so many ways the most characteristic of his works. It has, it's it's multimedia, first of all. And he did have that, you know, with all of his film scores and what, he was a multimedia kind of guy. It's not really an opera. It's not really an oratorio. It's a theatrical work. Partly it tells the story of King David from his early days as a shepherd through the fabulous meeting of Saul with the witch of Endor. Oh, that's just yummy. The dance around the ark, this fabulous sort of choral orchestral extravaganza. It, 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 it's little arias and instrumental pieces interspersed with, with psalm settings or psalms of various kinds. I mean, the, the example, the proximate example, of course, is a Bach passion. And Honegger was tremendously influenced by Bach's music, and he was one of those composers, as, for example, Tippett was in A Child of Our Time, who took the Bach passion model and updated it in a completely contemporary and original and splendid way. And the result was King David. And I think that if I have to choose a work by Honegger, which is totally characteristic and typical and original, but that also touches in its various facets all of the other things that he did in a more specific way, the film music, the symphonies, the other things. King David is really an excellent choice. And I would tell Cancrazans, the evil god of classical music, that you must not destroy everything else 
Honegger wrote, but for this one work, because although it's extremely typical, you do not want to lose Joan of Arc at the stake. You do not want to lose the symphonies and other works. You do not want to lose Pacific 231, all of which share in the stylistics and the aesthetics that we find summarized so beautifully in Le Roi David, in King David. So that's my pick. Keep on listening, friends. Thank you so much for enjoying me. Enjoying me. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you enjoyed me too. That would be nice. Take care.